Awesome. All right. Today's workout, we are doing a lot of balance and body control. So we are still going to do our cardio burst with some jumping around and all those things. But for the most part, we're going to be focusing on being on one arm and one leg. Uh, it's hard to do balance stuff for the upper body. So that's going to be a little funky, some familiar stuff. And then the lower body is really easy because we can do a lot of single leg things. So one of those days where it is especially important to listen to your body and go slowly, challenge yourself, but know the limits because we don't want to get too crazy and risk injury because uh, we will spend a significant amount of time on one arm, one leg. So with that being said, happy Wednesday. Let's do some good work. Come on up. Bands are on. Cycles are on. I'm going to adjust my band a little bit higher in my arm. And let's start to warm up the upper body just with some swings side to side, opening everything up. Getting into the spine. Get the cycle going. There we go. Good, working through it. And arms down by the sides. Let's take what I call some shoulder rainbows to open up the shoulders. Reach the arms all the way up. Back behind you. Keep them straight the whole time. Take them all the way back. Up and around. Three more. And last two. And final one. All right, so we're going to start today with an extreme mobility exercise for a very small joint and small muscle to form. So I'm going to bend my right arm into my body. I'm going to take my left hand, stabilize the right arm so the upper part of my forearm is facing up the whole time, make a fist, and I want you to work through your wrist circle as big a motion as you can make using your left arm to keep your right arm stable. Don't let it move, okay? So I'm holding my arm and I'm working through that range of motion, but I'm keeping the arm stable so that all the work is a product of the wrist joint and the forearm muscle. So let's go ahead and take our first 40 seconds just working into this arm, moving through it. And then your right arm is really gonna wanna twist and wiggle. Try not to let it move the whole time. So that's the purpose of the left arm, to keep it stable as you make as big a circle as you can working on. And I want these to be slow because I want us to work on quality over quantity. So targeting the form via some joint work. Awesome. Last 10 seconds. Give me four, three, two, and one. Let's go ahead and switch arms. Bend the left arm in towards the body. Take the right hand, stabilize it. And we're going in three, two, and one. Nice, massive wrist circles. Keep squeezing your fist the whole time as you work through that range. Good. Don't let that form move at all. They're hard. I think they're hard. Last 15 seconds. Again, we have five, four, three, two, and one. Great. One more set. We're going to do both wrists, but I want you to do your best, even without holding your arms, to keep the forearms stable the whole time. So no twisting and rocking. Keep them stable. 40 seconds. Last set. We are going. Twist around and through. Today's theme is balance and body control, starting with our baby muscles. Good. Now start to circle the wrist the opposite direction. Keep your forearms facing up. Try not to let them wiggle. And I help maintain this form by squeezing my elbows into the midline of the body. Nice. 
Last five, four, three, two, and rest. Shake it out. Forearm stretch. Extend the right arm away from the body. Bend the fingers in. Switch side, left arm. And we're going to come down next to work into the triceps with a really funky variation of a push-up. So everyone meet on hands and knees. I'd like to encourage you to try these push-ups on your knees before you come into full plank position. And I'll angle to the side so that you can see the setup. I take my hands and I take my left arm in front of my right, make my way either onto my knees or in plank position, and I drop down into the push-up, press back up. So my hands are staggered like so, and I'm doing the push-ups like this. Super fire of the triceps. So go ahead and set yourself up. On the knees, take the left hand in front of the right. You can either step back into plank or scoot your knees back ever so slightly. First 40 seconds, let's go ahead and drop right into it. Press down, press the floor away. Come down, press the floor away. Your range of motion might be smaller, much, much, much smaller than a regular push-up. These are going to fatigue your triceps like heck very quickly, and that's what we want to build strength. Great. Good. Keep going, 20 more seconds. Now, if you're feeling good here, you can increase your range of motion, drop a little bit deeper into it. If you're feeling really good, you can come back into plank. This is the only set we're gonna do with the left hand forward. So really work into it, then we'll switch it out. Last 10. Yeah, give me two more. Five, four, three, two, and one. Wiggle out the wrist. All right, let's set up for our second set. This time taking right hand in front of left hand. My fingers are pointed in opposite directions, either scooting the knees back. And as we do these, I don't want you to dive forward with your chest. I want you to come forward with your belly button, okay? So we're dropping the hips down into it instead of just hiking our butt up, okay? I'll point it out if I see anyone doing it wrong. Second 40 seconds in three, two, and one. Drop into it. Press the floor away from you. We come down. We come up. My elbows are pointed in opposite directions. Great. We are half done. Keep going. Last 10. Good. Give me two more. Five, four, three, two, and rest. Tricep stretch, right arm across the body, release it. Left arm across the body. Next up, we have our bicep curls. Then we have three more upper body exercises. Then we'll get our heart rate up and split the bands up. So bicep curls. We're going to go one minute straight through with the bicep curls. We're only doing one set. And I want you to pick your pace. You can go fast. You can go slow. You can alternate. But the goal here is don't stop curling the whole time. Okay? So this is a familiar exercise. Elbows in. One minute. We're going in three, two, and one. Bicep curls. This is one of our only exercises today that doesn't require balance. So if you want to challenge the balance while you're doing your minute of bicep curls, feel free to pull one leg up and off the floor. Or not. Or you can just go super fast on both legs. Give those wrists a break. Good. Half done. If you're on one foot, go ahead and switch it out. Pump it. Awesome. Last 15. All right. Give me 10. 
fast as you can. All in. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. Rest. Now observe the neck exercise before we do it. It's a toe tap twist through. What the heck? Let's show. So my knees are in a little bend. I'm in a bare position. I twist, tap, come back through center, twist, tap, okay? If it doesn't work to be in bear, you can step back and do it in plank, but I'd like you to try doing it in bear for better body control and adding more weight to the upper body by shifting it forward, okay? So let's make our way into bear, 40 seconds. I'm gonna start it out with you so you can just watch me and we'll do it together. Go ahead. So I twist through, tap hand to opposite foot, come back through center. Twist through, tap, back through center. Keep working through it, side to side. And if you feel like you can add speed, now is your chance to add speed. Nice, Jim. Good, a lot of core work to control the body here. Great. Half done. All right, we've got 10 more seconds. Keep that knees hovered off the floor as you come back through center. Last five, four, three, two, and one. Drop the knees, press the butt back, make your way onto your forearms for a quick rest. You can give your hips a rock side to side. And then start to make your way back onto hands and knees for our second set. So let's set up together. Tuck the toes, lift the knees one inch off the mat, bare position, 40 seconds. We are rolling, opposite foot, opposite hand. We kick, come through center, twist, and center. Keep moving. I love it. Nice. Those I can see look great. I think our swimmers are in the pool today. <laughs> the last 10. Give me four, three, two, and rest. Go ahead and drop the knees. Pull your butt back to your heels. Walk both hands over to the left, right palm on top of left hand, side body stretch. And then walk over to the right, left palm on top of right hand, side body stretch. And come back through center for our next exercise, which is a forearm plank back tap. So oftentimes we've done this stretch before where we do this stretch and people always have a hard time sliding this hand up their back. So we're going to work on that in a forearm plank position. So I'm in forearm plank. I reach back, tap my back with the back of my hand, set the arm down, reach back, tap as high as you can, set the arm down. So we're balancing on one forearm and we're helping to open up the shoulder and reach. Okay, so go ahead and make your way into forearm plank. We're gonna go in four, three, two, and one. Reach back, tap back with back of the hand. Set it down and switch. Set the forearm down. As you do this, try and keep your hips from wiggling side to side so that the arm is really supporting the body as well as the core. Nice, and each time you tap your back, try and get the back of your hand a little bit higher, a little bit higher towards your shoulder blades, working into shoulder mobility. Great. Last 15 seconds. Keep it slow. We'll work on sliding your hand up your back. Woo, nice, good. Last six. We're gonna drop the knees in three, two, and one. Drop them down and rest however you wanna rest. We have one more set. Then we have one more upper body exercise, which is 
It's a hard one. It's a really hard one, and I'm excited. All right. Second set, make your way onto your form. We're going in three, two, and one. Tap back, set the arm down, tap back, set the arm down. If at any point being in forearm plank and doing this is too hard, you can always drop your knees, or you can always take a pause in regular forearm plank to regain a little bit of stability and strength. Good. Last 15 seconds. Give me six, five, four, three, two, and one. Drop the knees. Take a gaze at your screen as you shrug the shoulders out. Our last exercise is one of the hardest upper body ones we've done in a control perspective in a long time. So I come back into my hands in plank position. I take my left hand to my right shoulder, so I'm on one hand. I press back into pike. As I shift forward, right knee to arm. Press back, shift forward, right knee comes up to tap that arm. So if it's too much to do the knee, you can do the one arm plank to pike, or you can do two hands and shift forward knee. Press back, knee. Otherwise, let's set ourselves up together for the one arm, one leg. So I take my left hand to right shoulder. I press back into pike, shift forward, left knee comes up to tap the arm. Press back, press forward, knee to left arm. Keep going. And that's a whole lot of weight on the right hand. And that's why we take it especially slow. So we can take care of that arm. Mm -hmm. Nice. Half done. I know it's a lot on the wrist, but it looks, it does look great. You can always do it with two hands. Give me eight. Last six, five, four, three, two, and oh my goodness, rest. <laughs> Set that hand down. Let's release the right shoulder a little bit because it just did a lot of work. Draw some shoulder rainbows with the right arm or shoulder half circles if you prefer. Uh, last one. And let's work into the other side. So stepping back into plank, take the right hand to the left shoulder, press back into pike, shift forward, left knee to right arm. Shift back, shift forward, and tap. Keep going. 40 seconds. And for me, the hardest part is when I try and get my knee to my arm and I'm on one foot and one leg. Everything feels like it's going to topple. Good. Last 15. After that, we get to give our arms a break. Give me eight. Last four. Three, two, and one. Everyone come on and up to stand. Nice job. We're getting our heart rate up only three times in this entire workout. This is one, and then we'll have two with our leg bands on. So the moves today incorporate balance. The first one we haven't done in a while, it's the pendulum swings. I swing, swing, kick, swing, swing, kick. It's one of my favorites. I love side kicks. The next one, knee tap, ankle tap, knees, ankles, knees, ankles. And the last one is just a crisscross punch, like criss, cross, punch, punch, criss, cross, punch, punch, okay? First 30 seconds, pendulum swings, arms out to the sides. Ready, set, here we go. Swing, swing, kick, swing, swing, kick. Keep it up. Get those legs all the way up. If you want to go faster, do it. We're already half done. Yeah. 
Good. Last six. Then we're going knees and heels in four, three, two, and one. Knee tap, heel tap. Knee tap, heel tap. Half done. Get those feet off the floor. Good. Last five, four, three, two, and one. Chris, cross, punch, punch. Chris, cross, punch, punch. Rotating on the toes of the foot as you reach across the body. Get into those hips in the spine. Awesome, last 10. Woo, make it fast. Good, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. So about your arm bands for your leg bands, please. And the question of the day is, who was your favorite teacher and why? Yesterday, the question was, who is your hero? Today is, who has been your most influential or biggest teacher and why? And let's swap out our bands. Those on Instagram, feel free to swap out arm bands for leg bands and toss any answers in the chat. Those on Zoom, feel free to unmute. I'll go first. Why not? Uh, one of my most influential teachers was actually my grandmother because she's the most peaceful person I ever met and even took a homeless man into her house one time for a year to let him live on her couch because she was just so kind-hearted. <laughs> Steve says, Dr. Sato, the inventor of katsu. That would make sense. That makes sense. <laughs> I love that one. All right, one or two more answers and I'll keep rolling. George says, an undergrad engineering professor who hired me to teach while I was taking the same class. Really cool, really cool. I love that. Teachers really do come in all shapes and forms. All right, grab those leg bands. If anyone has any answers they'd like to share, feel free to toss them in the chat. So this is where we really get to get into the bulk of our balance challenges with our legs. And for our warm up, we're going to start with some balance work to open up the hips. So start to shift your weight into your left foot and start to pick your right foot up and off the floor. Now it can be here or it can be here. I don't care as long as it's off the floor. Start to open that leg to the right. Now notice my hips don't move. I drop my knee down, internal rotation. Pull my leg back, hip flexion. Pull my knee in, hip extension. So I open the knee up, external rotation. Drop the knee down, internal hip rotation. Pull the knee back, hip extension. Pull the knee in, hip flexion. So keep working through this range. One, two, three, Four, one, two, three, four. And try not to let the rest of the body move. We're doing this to balance in one leg and also open up that hip. Two, three, and four. Good. 15 more seconds. Good. Give me one more good one. All the way up. All the way down all the way back, all the way in. And let's switch sides, shake it out, move into the other leg. All of my weight into the right leg, please. Left leg up, open it up. This is external rotation. So my hip is externally rotating in the socket or my leg is externally rotating in the hip socket. Internal rotation, drop that knee down. Pull the heel into the butt, hip extension. I'm lengthening across my hip flexor. Pull the knee in. Hip flexion, I'm tightening. Here we go. One, two, 
three, four. And this is it. Keep working through it, 20 more seconds. Try and keep the hands on the hips to keep them really stable. Good, last 10. And let's do one more. One, two, three, and four. All right, working into the calf muscles, we have bicycles. I want you to do your best to keep your heels off the floor the whole time, dropping alternating heels, not on the ground, but towards the ground for stability. And you can always step the feet a little bit wider to help with balance, okay? So two sets, 40 seconds of bicycles, ready? That let's go. And by all means, make sure your cycle's running. Great. Keep growing taller, keep growing taller, cycle it out. Nice, half done. If you wanna go faster and you can go faster, maintaining control, do it here. Seven, six, five, four, three, two, and rest. All right. Second set. The only modification there is is if you want more of a challenge, reach your arms up while you do it. 40 seconds bicycles. Lift the heels off the floor. Let's go for it. Dropping alternating heels down. Makes it harder with the arms up. Good. Either lifting the top of your head or your fingertips away from the floor the whole time. Woo, there we go. <laughs> Don't let those heels touch. Half done. All right. Pedal it out, pedal it out. Last 10. And five. Four, three, two, and one. Nice, calves are working. First balance exercise of the day is a single leg lunge. So there is a modification if a single leg lunge is not in the work for you today. Otherwise, I'd like you to try it. You find your right leg, pull the right knee to the chest without letting the right foot touch the floor. I lunge back, I lunge up. I come back, get the knee low, I come up. If that's not working for you today, bring the knee up, regular lunge back, pull the knee up. Otherwise, try and drop into it. Get that back knee down and come up. I like to use my arms for stability. You can do whatever you want with your arms, okay? Let's start together. So shift the weight into the left foot. Pull the right knee to the chest, 40 seconds. Here we go, come back. And rise, and back, and rise. And there is no need to watch me while you're doing this exercise because I'm just gonna throw your balance off because I'm moving. Focus on that spot on the floor or the wall that is not moving. Use your core, get that back knee down towards the ground if you're doing the single leg lunge. I see a lot of wobbling and that's what I want. That means this is something we can all afford to keep working and growing upon. Mm -hmm. Last 12. Good. Five, four, three, two, and one. Let's work into the other side. Shift your weight into your right foot. Lift your left foot off the ground. 40 seconds. Let's start working into it. Bend into the knee. Drop the back one down. Rise on up. Keep going. Oh. I'm not gonna call out names because I don't wanna distract anyone, but everyone keep doing what you're doing. It's slow, it's perfect. Even if you do like three reps the entire time, but you do them well and you squeeze your core, I'm a happy camper. Last 10. Get as low as you can, see if you can do one more. Five, four, three, two, and one. Kick it out, shake it out. That 
for the people who I can see, magnificent. We have one more set, okay? So shift the weight into the left leg, pick the right knee off the floor. It doesn't really matter which side you start with, whichever one you do, we're gonna do both sides. All right, we ready? 40 seconds, let's do it. We come down and back up. Yes, single leg lunges. And even though we might not be in a gym with a lot of weight, I think this takes a heck of a lot of strength to be able to control the body to do a single leg lunge. Good. Keep moving, half done. Get that back knee down to the floor, no slouching out the spine too much. We have our last 10 seconds. Try one more, low as you can go. Five, four, three, two, and one. Let's work into the other leg. Shift your weight into your left leg. Pull the right knee up, 40 seconds, last set, let's go. Come down, or maybe the other leg, whichever one you're doing the other side, the opposite side, get low, and rise back up. Drop into it, and rise. Not quite as hard as the pistol squat, the single leg squat, but pretty darn difficult if you ask me. Awesome. Last 20 seconds. Ooh, yeah. Good, last 10. See if you can do one more. Four, three, two, and one. Great. Let's get our heart rate up. The next exercise we're going to do for the most part on two legs, but there is going to be a single leg component. So heart rate boost, first 30 seconds, pendulum swings, arms out to the sides, let's go. We swing, swing, kick, swing, swing, kick. Get those legs up. It's all about one leg today. So even if you move slow and you're controlling how high you get that leg, I'm still happy. Otherwise, get the heart rate up, groove through it. Half done. Five, four, three, two, and one. Knee tap, ankle tap. Awesome. Last 10. And we're coming to crisscross punch in seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. Here we go. Criss, cross, punch, punch. Criss, cross, punch, punch. Back. Woo, that's it. Last 10. Give me six, five, four, three, two, and one. Next up, squat knee to elbow. We've done this a number of times, but I want the intent here to get the knee all the way up to the elbow. So I step into my position. I squat, my arms stay stable, I go up. Squat up. It is not this. There's no tipping. My body stays upright and I'm balancing and getting my leg up. All right? 40 seconds. Ready? Let's do it. Squat. Knee to elbow. Set it down. Squat. Get it up. Come down. Keep working. If you can go fast and get contact with your knee and your elbow, go fast. Otherwise, focus more on that balance component than anything else. Controlling your obliques and your hips to get the knee up there. Mm -hmm. That requires core strength, leg strength, hip strength. Last 10. 
Oh, Jim, great. George, amazing. Five, four, three, two, and one. Good. We're going to do our second set of these, and then we're going to take a sip of water before we keep grooving, because I realize we've just been going and going and going today. For those who I can see, keep doing what you're doing. Everyone looks good. Hands behind the head. Second set. Four, three, two. Let's go. Get low in the squat. Knee to elbow. Take it down. Get that contact up. We're already 10 seconds in. Amazing. Good. <laughs> and it's hard when we have the hands on the head not to slouch off the spine. Stay tall. Keep pressing it back. Mm -hmm. 15. Seven, six, five, four, three, two, and rest. Water for everybody. Two more lower body exercises, and then we do core. All right. Single leg pendulum swing. They look easy but I think they're actually kind of hard if you do them right. So we've been doing our swing, swing, kick. That's in practice for this exercise. I take my hands to my hips. I shift my weight into my left foot. I swing out, forward, out, back. Forward, out, back. Now you'll notice that I'm not shifting and rocking. Only my right leg is doing the work. So you can go as fast as your heart desires, but I don't want this. I want this. Okay, so let's set ourselves up. Shift your weight into your left leg, hands on the hips for stability. 40 seconds. Here we go. Out, forward, out, back, out, forward, out, back. That's the work. Squeeze your outer hip like heck. Stay stable. Awesome. A lot of single leg stuff today. Back and forward. Last 20 seconds. Try not to let your right foot touch the ground at all. Good. Keep swinging that leg out high. Squeeze. Build strength. Why not? Seven. Six, five, four, three, two, and rest. Now you should be feeling it in this leg by now. You should be feeling it in this leg, just keeping the body stable. Let's work into the other side. Shift, 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 <laughs> shift switch your weight into your right leg. 40 seconds. Here we go. Out, forward, out, back, side, forward, side back and you don't have to have your hands on your hips if you want to take wings take wings take what every movement you want with your hands to keep that stability without letting the body move yes so good last 10 get that leg up even higher no point in stopping now. There we go. Four, three, two, and one. Hands to the hips. Root the feet into the floor. Shift your weight over to the left. Shift your weight over to the right. Come back through center. Second set. Shift the weight into the right foot. Here we go. Out, forward, out, back. Last set. Try not to let your left foot touch the floor the whole time. And my goodness, thank you to everyone who keeps coming and showing up. I do my best to keep these workouts varied, but 
<laughs> we have done some interesting, wacky, and fun things over the last three months, and I appreciate everyone still sticking with it. Good job, last 10. Get that leg all the way up to the side. Big old kick. Five, four, three, two, and one. Last set. Shift the weight into the left foot. We are rolling in three, two, and one. Forward, out, back. Take your hands behind your head if you want to, as long as you don't start tipping. Amazing. After this, we have one more thing. And I hope that your outer hip is really feeling it by now. 13. Give me five, four, three, two, and one. Good job. Last time to increase the heart rate today. Pendulum swings. I know we're burning. I know we've done a lot of this. 30 seconds. Three, two, and one. Swing, swing, kick. Swing, swing, kick. Last time you'll have to kick the leg out to the side stick. I promise. A lot of times, though, I see people that get lower back pain, and it's due to a lot of tightness in the hip or weakness in the hip. The more we can strengthen and mobilize the hips, the whole body smiles. Last 10. Good. Seven, six, five. Four, three, two, and one. Knee tap, heel tap, we're going. Knees, heels, knees, heels. Whew. Pump it up. Half done. Last ten. Give me five, four, three, two, and one. Criss, cross, punch, punch. Criss, cross, punch, punch. We'll bring it home. Give me those jabs. Punch, punch. Last ten. Give me seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. Ooh, grab some water. Last exercise. We're going to move our legs. We're going to move our arms. Everything is going to be moving. All the movement should stem from the belly. So it is a single leg hinge plus wings. Yes, I made this name up. I take a teeny, teeny, tiny bend to my left leg. Step the right foot back. I hinge forward. I'm going to scoot forward so I don't hit the wall. I hinge forward. As I do this, my arms come out to the sides like wings. I come back up. I come down. I come back up. And the goal is to not let the right foot touch the floor the whole time. So there's a term in exercise, or I guess in medicine in general, called proprioception which is the brain's ability to know where any given body part is at any given time. So by doing this exercise, we're challenging our proprioception, we're moving our arms, we're moving our legs, and our brain and our muscles have to work together to comprehend what's happening. And it's really, really good for building strength and stability. So let's work and do it together. We're only doing one set of these. So take your time and see if you can come into that full flat back position and then come up, okay? So step the right foot back, baby bend in the left knee, 40 seconds in three, two, and one. Hinge forward, reach the arms up, come back down, keep your right foot off the floor. Hinge and rest. Bring the arms down by the sides as you come back up. Great, good job Instagram, good job Zoom. Uh-huh. Even if you only do three, four reps, I'm happy. 
Engage your core. I think body is in a plank position just on one leg. That's it. Last 10. Drop even lower into it. Best one of the day. Six, five, four, three, two, and rest. Let's work into the other leg. All my weight is in my right foot. I step my left foot back. I pick it off the floor. Keep it off the floor the whole time. We're going in three, two, and one. I hinge, find wings, rest. Hinge and rest. And as I extend my wings out, they are straight in line with my shoulders. Nice job, Jeff. <laughs> Keep that back foot off the floor the whole time. You can do it. Yes, 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 yes. Amazing. Last 10. Then we're coming down for some core. Woo! Yeah, four, three, two, and one. Awesome job, everyone. Kick the legs out for a moment. And before we come down for our core, let's tape a couple good mornings to release the backs of the legs. So my feet are hip distance apart, hands to opposite shoulder. Take a micro bend in your knees and do that same hinging motion, keeping your spine straight, but getting as low as you can. Good. If you can keep the legs straight and still keep a flat back, that's great. Last three. Give me two. And final one. And we rise. All right, core for today. We come down to sit, our three moves. I love this core series. I'm actually gonna pop my device out of the way. Side to side seated crunch. So I'm seated, I go crunch, center, crunch, center. Do you want more of a challenge? Do this with your hands off the floor, side to side. It's hard. I'm fine with you keeping your hands down. Next 30 seconds, we're rolling like a ball. My feet come off the floor, they stay off the floor. I roll back and up, don't let your feet touch. Last 30 seconds is a V hold. I lift my legs, I reach my arms out, and I hold here, okay? First 30 seconds, so all of this, can be done seated. Roll the rolling like a ball, we come up to sit. So side to side seated crunch, either root the hands into the floor or take them back. First 30 seconds, here we go. Side, center, to side, center. Good, practice pulling your knees in towards your chest and your belly as you do this. This will prepare you for the other two exercises. These ones are like building blocks. Each one gets a little bit harder. Good. Six, five, four, three, two, and one. Root the feet into the floor. Grab slightly easier your thighs, slightly harder your shins. Pick the feet up off the floor. Hold here. Pull your thighs in towards your belly. 30 seconds. Roll back. Roll up. Freeze. Don't let your feet touch the floor. Balance. Roll back. Roll up. Freeze. Now, this is your 30 seconds. Take as many or as few as you can. But really try and pause at the top. Get the knees in towards the chest. Control. And then take that roll. Great. Last 10. Give me six. Five. Four. Three. Two. Grab the backs of your legs. Extend the legs out 30 seconds. Hold it. I don't care if you hold your legs or if you want to make it more challenging, extend your arms uh, long, last thing. Keep pulling your thighs and towards your belly. We've been practicing this. Woo, push the big toes away from you. Go, go, go. Yes. Now breathe, please breathe. There we go. I don't know about you, my legs are shaking. Last 10. Make an even smaller V, get those legs up. Seven, six, five, four, Three, 
two, and one. Drop the feet down. Take the hamstring stretch. Release everything. And then roll on up to sit. Take the soles of the feet together. Butterfly. Release the hips. Give them a flutter. All right. Find your left hand. Take it to your right knee. Twist out the spine. Switch sides. Come back through center. Now we're going to shrug and hug our shoulders three times. I'll demonstrate. We shrug up, hug them back. Shrug them up, hug them back. Last time, shrug them up, hug them back. Now keep this good posture for the rest of your week. Bring your hands together. Round of applause. Whew, good job. Balance and body control today. Thank you. Welcome. <laughs> No gators here. They they have got their their practice and so the gators. The gators did send me some of the gators sent me a message and said that they are actually still doing the workouts. They're just doing them uh, uh, later. Got it. <laughs> all right. Thank you. Bye. All. Bye.